I recently drove an MRC Stage 2 2017 Audi RS3 in the mountains in Wales and here is my final review. Who are MRC? Well, MRC Tuning Limited is a remapping tuning company. They tune all post-1998 drive-by-wire, VAG, Porsche, and a select few other brands with Bosch, Siemens, ECUs. Let's talk about the car I drove. So this, as I mentioned, was an MRC Stage 2 ECU tune, developing around 538 PS and 729 newton meters. Um, the car also has a TCU tune to help cope with the extra power. It has an even Eventuri Stage 3 intake with Eventuri Turbo Inlet, has a forged intercooler, has a Miltec Sports Cat, an NGK race plugs and upgraded coil pack, dog bone mount, H&R rear sway bar with white line drop links, IBAC Pro kit springs, Esperi FFR1 wheels wrapped in Goodyear Eagle F1 asymmetric on square setup of 235-3519. It's a 2017 Audi RS3 so you get the pre-OPF filter so it sounds so good. Um, and I actually the week before drove a brand new 2021 Audi RS3 and yeah, big difference in sound. So stock a 2017 Audi RS3 would have 400 PS and about 480 newton meters. So you're looking at an increase of about 138 PS and well, yeah, quite a huge 250 newton meters gained. And I'll leave that full information in the description of this video. So how did it feel? To me, this is the most important part. How does it actually make you feel? Is it actually worth it? Well, for me, I fortunately got to drive it on such a fantastic day in Wales. I mean, it was unbelievable. Sunday morning, traffic was empty. Yeah, yeah, it couldn't have gone any better. So that for me made the experience absolutely fantastic and every car would have made me feel pretty happy. But this one in particular, I spent a fair amount of time driving and spent a fair amount of time sort of traveling with the owner as well, sort of following his car in my Golf R. And I've got to say, it did make me feel good and it did put a huge smile on my face. The car actually has just um, the stock sports exhaust from Audi, but it's obviously got that Miltec sports cap. Sounds really, really good really really nice tone that five cylinder engine and the pops and the crackles are nice as well um that car looks really subtle which is my kind of like you know i don't i'm not one for like sort of like all out there big wings carbon all over it so it was a bit of a sleeper car and yeah it turned a lot of heads in the villages that we were kind of going through to get to the mountains and the mountain passes that we drove on and yeah it sounded absolutely fantastic so no question that the sound has been improved and stuff with uh, sort of like the modifications made um, as for the speed it was definitely really really quick there's no doubt you know it pushed you, yourself back into your seat no problem when you're sort of on it and as i was following the owner obviously it was slightly more difficult for me to keep up in a 300 brake horsepower golf r but we could still both certainly have some fun together in the cars and enjoy the experience inside while driving it the gear shifts are really really seamless i probably would say the tcu tune has helped with that particularly with the extra power the noise is great it sounds real you know i don't know how much is piped through the speakers but this sounds very very real and certainly from the inside with like all the windows shut and stuff it made a really really great noise when you're standing outside and you're right behind the car it's probably a little bit too loud but um, i'm sure that's something that could be changed and sort of adjusted to kind of suit the um suit the owner's needs there's no doubt this is a crazily quick car i mean you are talking comfortably into the three three and a half seconds to 60 sort of if that's your kind of thing and it kept pulling in the corners obviously it's still just a normal audi rs3 it did actually feel a little bit heavier i noticed that compared to my mark 7 golf r driving them back to back on the roads um, and i think that's just because of like the audi quality and all that kind of stuff it just adds a little bit more weight heavier engine that kind of thing bigger wheels it all adds up but um, it disguised its weight quite well because of the extra power it just flew but because audis are so sort of like well built and why i love the vag group so much i talk them talk about them sort of so much on the channel is because it's so refined you can at some point barely feel like you're moving at all and you're really really shifting trust me this car flies and it makes you feel fantastic because to have a little hatchback just like that which is faster than some most sports cars and to be honest up there with the supercars of the world particularly in the real world where it's bumpy and you know you small lanes all that kind of stuff real world conditions and you know you've got speed bumps to deal with it is one of the fastest cars I've driven on the road for sure no doubt and that makes you feel pretty special when you're driving it and yeah 
that's one huge thing to say. So what are the owner's thoughts on his car? So obviously spending a bit of time with him, chatting with him, he knows the car better than I do. I asked the owner to actually summarize this, which I've put in the description to give you sort of a full understanding of how he finds the car, obviously spending more time than I did driving it. But just as a short summary, the owner felt that, to be honest, any reputable tuning map is acceptable. And the bigger sort of part for them was actually the location of where the tuning company is and the travel and stuff is of higher value, which does make sense because it does take time to travel back and forth you know things might not be right you know local support and I completely kind of understand that and it's interesting to hear them say that so that's a good thing to mention find a good reputable tuning manufacturer company and you're pretty much a good the other thing that I kind of noted from what they said was that the five pot sounds great stock basically it's a great sounding car you, you definitely don't need this to kind of add to the sound um, if that makes sense it's a it's a great engine as we all know from that RS3 but yeah check out the description for a sort of like a full understanding of what the owner felt so what are MRC's tuning recommendations so I checked through sort of like their FAQs of what they recommend. The main part is that make sure the car is running on 99 Ron fuel, pretty self-explanatory. That's kind of what I always run my car on anyway, and mine's not even tuned. It's the best quality fuel. Um, you know, they don't advise you to run it on 95. You know, it's just, it's just the way it is. You're running that sort of power. It needs the best quality fuel you can get. Make sure the car is sound and, you know, obviously serviced and it has no issues beforehand. That's the big thing to kind of go through before going in for the tune. But to be honest, as long as the car's sort of sorted, you know, you haven't really got any problems. And I'd thoroughly recommend you sort of talk to them and get an understanding of who, well, whatever tuning manufacturer you go to and ask what they'd want you to kind of complement the map with. Adding power is one thing, but you've got to make sure it's sort of sensible and works well in your car. So so um, yeah, take their advice, take their specialist advice would be my main thing, contact them for that. So a few key boring things to note, but it's important to mention these because this is an important part of actually obviously purchasing a tune. So one thing that they say in their terms and conditions, if you're not happy with the remap after 14 days, they will refund the cost simple as that of the map itself so you're kind of covered if you really didn't like it you tested it you tried it okay you've taken your time going back and forth to them and stuff but you will get the costs covered in that sense so that's really really good and um, they do charge 22 pounds plus VAT per day of storage for your car that will take um, effect after two weeks of the booking date or after one week of completion of the work that's something not to um, be underestimated particularly if you're doing sort of like a big job and you're getting lots of things done um, you know just consider that as part of it all and the usual stuff in terms of your car must be taxed it must have a valid MOT it must be working properly at all times all this kind of stuff and the final thing is there are no warranties on any modified cars that's what it says in their T's and C's which I'll also sort of leave a link in the description to so yeah one thing to mention there but for me personally I've never had such a big a smile on my face generally because it's the first time I've driven that sort of model of Audi RS3 I think it was the right time it's the right era cars between sort of like 2014 2017 17, that kind of era I think they were just at the top of their game everything worked in its favor particularly like the legislation that goes into newer cars now it really does dent a lot of the fun and I think the tune sort of added to the experience to be honest it was a great day thoroughly enjoyed it and you know huge thank you to the owner for allowing me the opportunity to drive such a special car stock or tuned it's absolutely fantastic particularly around those roads and obviously get in touch with me if you'd like a feature on the channel information in the description for that i'd love to share it but yeah stunning car i can't stop smiling even sort of a few days on absolutely brilliant it gives me so much hope that you know cars are not dead just yet you know we're still fighting strong and yeah, whew, what an experience, what an experience. Check out part one and part two of the mountain drive and you'll sort of see it in real time. You'll know what I mean.